What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, AKA All Fires. Now, as I recently remarked in a separate video opening, there's really been two names that have been dominating the MCU news cycle as of late, one of which has been Scarlet Witch. And I think that that's basically on purpose, Marvel Studios doing what they can to drive hype for Agatha all along and let us know that that character is returning. And the other has obviously been Tom Holland's Peter Parker and what's going on with Spider-Man in the MCU. Now, last we heard was an update last week from trusted industry insider Daniel RPK. We covered it here at the channel where he indicated not only were Sony and Marvel working on a new deal for Tom Holland's Spider-Man, but it would allow him to show up in more Marvel movies, maybe beyond just the Spider-Man franchise and the Avengers franchise where he's basically been stuck up until now. That's if you want to count Captain America Civil War as basically an Avengers 2.5. Well, today we have a separate industry insider source weighing in with some exact details and just how many films this MCU new deal with Tom Holland is supposedly supposed to encompass and it does go beyond Spider-Man and the Avengers. We're going to break it all down this latest update for the contract details and the re-signing of Peter Parker in the MCU, what it means for just how many more MCU movies he'll be showing up in in the future. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we do daily Marvel content at the channel. That's all we do. So if that's for you, hit the sub button, leave a comment down below that will automatically enter you to win our ongoing PS5 giveaway. The next one is weeks away with the finale of Agatha all along. Just be a sub, leave a comment. If you want, stick around to the end of the video we get into all the giveaway stuff again there. Okay, so this newest update actually comes to us via the anonymous Twitter scoopster, My Time to Shine Hello, and actually outlines where Tom Holland is going to be showing up and for quite some time in the MCU. They go on to add that the brand new contract will include a new trilogy, so Spider-Man 4, 5, and 6, Avengers 5 and 6, that's Doomsday, and Avengers Secret Wars, and then two other additional Marvel Cinematic Universe films. Now, of all of this, it's no surprise at all that he's included in five of these films. Number one, there was no chance that he wasn't going to be a part of Avengers 5 and Avengers 6, and if you missed our most recent video, it sounds like he's going to have a huge role in Avengers Doomsday. Also, why would you renegotiate a contract and not include him for a trilogy? It was very unlikely that Sony and Marvel wanted to bring Peter Parker back into the MCU and then not do another trilogy for his title. Now, I know it's been rumored for over two or three years that the real plan is to have Tom Holland do three trilogies in the MCU, one in high school, one in college, and one of him as an adult. But I don't think there's any point in looking that far forward. I don't think anybody knows where cinema or at least Marvel Studios may be in 15 years. Having him do a Spider-Man 4, 5, and 6 clearly keeps him in the MCU through the next mutant saga, six, seven, maybe even eight or nine years at the rate that Sony's been making Spider-Man movies. And so he's going to be around for whatever the MCU looks like in post Avengers Secret Wars. And including him in those two other MCU films means he's going to show up even more. Now, using some logic, we could deduce what those two mystery MCU films are. If he's doing a new Spider-Man trilogy, Avengers 5 and 6, it could be that those next two films could be Avengers 7 and 8. Now, before you say, but hey, it's going to be the mutant saga, maybe they'll change the big crossover movies to X-Men, Marvel Studios has just invested too much money point blank. The name Avengers has become too notable with these huge billion dollar blockbuster films and maybe anything outside in Avengers vs. X-Men where Avengers would still be the lead title. I don't suspect that no matter where we are in the middle of a mutant saga and even if the X-Men have taken prominence that Marvel Studios as long as they exist will ever go away from the Avengers title to sort of demarcate these huge huge crossover events and there are tons of them Marvel can still do after Avengers Secret Wars. So could it be that those two mystery MCU films are simply Avengers 7 and 8 down the road? Maybe, but it's also likely that this contract negotiation is a little more local, meaning not that far out. So yeah, there's the Spider-Man trilogy, 4, 5, and 6, and there's Avengers 5 and 6, but maybe the two other films are looking forward to places that they want him to show up. Could be something like a Fantastic Four 2 in the next 3 to 4 years, or one or two of the X-Men films. Plus, we still know, lingering on the horizon, there is some team-up between Daredevil and Spider-Man that all the fans want. We suspect Sony and Marvel are going to make good on that. It's just that right now, they've got to do another huge multiverse film. Now, what's really curious to me is something that I think is even more interesting about this contract renegotiation every time it happens between Sony and Marvel and they extend their sharing agreement for Peter Parker because it has definitely 
put Sony in a really tough position with exploring the Spider-Man IP on their own because it's so very obvious that they're not allowed to use Spider-Man, that the character only exists between Sony and Marvel and in the MCU where they deem it's possible for him to show up. Sony has got to get their hands on some sort of spider protagonist, be it Miles Morales, be it some other version of the character that they can use, or else their villains verse, their spider verse, whatever they've been working on over there, seems like it just can have absolutely no future. Now we're about to wrap on the Venom trilogy. They're about to introduce Null, and it's very obvious that Sony has plans, whether it was a spider get in or trying to do some huge crossovers of their own, but they're so entangled with Marvel Studios when it comes to the character they need the most in Spider-Man that what I think is going to be interesting to see is if any of those details, those contractual limitations, are changed with this next iteration of the contract, i.e. they do something in there that doesn't really change what's happening with Tom Holland's Peter Parker but maybe includes a clause that allows Peter Parker to show up in the Sony-verse, reboot the Sony-verse to be in line with the MCU in one huge universe, or again allow them to introduce Miles Morales over on their side and have a spider protagonist. Because really, outside of Venom, it's the stuff that includes a Spider-Man, like the animated Spider-Verse or what's been going on with Tom Holland that's going to make Sony the kind of money that makes owning the Spider-Man IP right. And I've got to imagine it's some sort of nightmare scenario over there for a studio that's as small as Sony to own IP as highly coveted as Spider-Man and somehow not be able to also use it for your own films and for your own bottom line and profit. But it's true, Sony definitely needs Marvel Studios. It's one of the things that has legitimized them beyond, say, their animated projects. And for a film studio that's still putting out stuff like Madam Web and Morbius, Craven withstanding, Venom 3 withstanding, it's, it's tough to see how they would have fared if they had just been left to their own devices, rebooted Spider-Man on their own, kept him out of the MCU. It probably would have all come crashing down. But let me know all your thoughts down below, as always. Which two MCU films would you like to see Peter Parker in beyond the two Avengers films and his brand new trilogy? I'm all ears as always. Quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. All right, we're still giving away a PlayStation 5 here at the channel. We've just been doing that for years now. I can't even count how many PlayStation 4 Pros and 5s we've given out, and we eventually will switch to the 5 Pro. The next one is for the finale of Agatha All Along, which is about a month away. If you want to be entered to win or for any of the future giveaways here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below and because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on, and as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman, you can find me in a couple of places, Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. You can also find me on all platforms with original music under the name AllFires. And while I sincerely appreciate you checking my music out, thanks for checking this channel out. Stick around, we'll be posting again real, real soon.